Hey, you like the, like, like the video, man. You, too. What did they do? It is your boy, Low Key. No one the cut you do. I'm saying I'm coming back with y'all with another video. As you can see by the title today, I'm gonna do a hard pills to swallow part three. Hey, man. If you already seen on my channel, I already did a heart pill to swallow part one and part two. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm probably gonna put you know the cards up below, above. But yeah, I'm finna talk about the heart pills to swallow because heart pill to swallow. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you know I'm probably gonna you know reiterate. So pretty much, a heart pill to swallow is advice and little lessons that you need to learn to improve yourself as a person. Things that you know, in most cases you're gonna find out the hard way you know what i'm saying if someone hasn't told you you know like a father figure or like a mother who's probably you know disciplines you and gives you like you know like advice you know don't do this do that and all that if you don't have that level of guidance like that's kind of what was the whole point of like you know hard pills to swallow because as you can see in this gen z generation a lot of us make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us go through things and we have we find out things the hard way. The thing about the internet though is that like people are kind of finding out through other people's um mistakes, but I, I, it's getting kind of, you know, it's getting kind of bad though. You know, I feel like this internet age, hopefully people don't get too addicted to it, you know what I'm saying? Cuz you still got to, you know, go out and, you know, do what you got to do to, you know, develop and, you know, grow more as a human, you know what I'm saying? But that's the thing though these are the hard pills to swallow you know some of these things i i've gone through myself too and keep it a bean and like you know the hard pills to swallow is just something that you have to go through something that you have to learn to prevent like bad things from happening you know like bad scenarios and stuff so basically in a way to avoid it like that's the whole reason of like telling y'all the hard pills to swallow so that you can know like what to do in this scenario or what to be aware of is basically what it is but before we get into this video if you're new to the channel please make sure to like comment and subscribe don't be dumb as hell click that bell turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single video hey man let's get to it the first hard pill to swallow is sometimes you just gonna get blocked with no explanation I know this one's random, but this one's true. I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of us are young teens and stuff, so I know everybody's gonna feel this. I think men and women too. Sometimes you was dead, you was dead serious going like, just get blocked with no explanation. Like, you can hit it off with somebody, y'all could be cool or whatever, and then you know, especially with females, because females, they just have this sense of like, I don't know if it's bipolar, I don't know what it is, but it, like, you know, you could be cool with somebody, and then just one day, they just don't want to talk to you, you get blocked somebody else could be into the mix so now they juggling you know two people they like oh you sweet dude like you know you show affections you're you're very you know you're very consistent you're very persistent you know what i'm saying they block you because they're gonna get caught up you know what i'm saying that's not always the case but that's like you know sometimes what happens too sometimes you are gonna get blocked with no explanation from people sometimes people you care about sometimes people you just met you feel me but that doesn't mean that you gotta have any level of hate for them, you know what I'm saying? People have their reasons for why they block, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people could, it could be a personal thing where they're going through something. It could be like a tragedy in their family, a tragedy within themselves individually, you know what I'm saying? Like who knows what is their thought process or like what they're going through on a mental and emotional scale. So sometimes they just need to like cut off the noise and like they might know that you're, you know, consistent with like hitting them up and they do. And sometimes, you know, some people just have impulsive behavior. So like, you know, they actually don't mean to do it, but they do it. Sometimes it is intentional. Sometimes somebody could find out something about you, misinterpret it a different way and they could block you because, you know, they thought that you did something, you said something and they, you know what I'm saying, they block you. And, Sometimes it could be a sense where like they caught specific proof of you doing something that does disrespect them and they block you or like I said, you know, sometimes on a romantic scale, they're, they're messing with someone else. They're messing with someone else and they don't really want you to fully know or maybe they don't care if you know, but they don't want you to like, they don't want to keep involving themselves with you. Maybe the other person is bringing more value than you have, but you were doing good enough, or maybe you were just a placeholder, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, they block you to not mess that up, to not get caught up pretty much. 
and sometimes it just happens you know what i'm saying like it's life you know what i'm saying a lot of times you're not going to get the answer you know what i'm saying sometimes you will get the answer sometimes they're going through a phase uh, an emotional like an emotional moment right and then they might reach out you know what i'm saying they might reach out it could be like weeks days months a year or two later like i've had people that blocked me hit me up two years later apologizing you know what i mean it's weird but you know sometimes people are like that you know because sometimes you you that you didn't do nothing wrong you feel me and sometimes you know with this generation i noticed like it's just something about like you know um there's something about like people wanting to get their get back you know what i'm saying so like sometimes it could be out of spite where like somebody just wants to do that to rile you up or you know that's just the way they are because a lot of people they're just like really used to the toxicity so they might actually just do it on purpose just to see what would you do if if, if they block you like are you gonna find a way to reach out or not and all that and you know, i've been through those kind of phases too I even used to go as far as using like text now, text free to like kind of hit the person up because I just wouldn't know. And then sometimes, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I'm not gonna say I recommend it. I'm not gonna say I don't recommend it. I'm just saying I don't do that anymore. Like if I use that app, I, I use it to like prank people. And I haven't used that app in like two years now. But yeah, sometimes it, it just happens. You know what I'm saying? Just you just gotta live with it. You gotta move on. Plenty of fishes in the sea, and even your friends, like you know what I'm saying plenty of friends you can make and even if it's like a deep bond on both scales it's like you just gotta understand like people have their reasonings for doing what they want and you know what i'm saying you, you can't question that you know what i'm saying if they want to do that and you know that you didn't do nothing wrong just let it be you know what i'm saying if it, if it really wasn't wrong if it really wasn't you they're gonna find their way back to you you know what i'm saying if you genuine so at the end of the day if you get blocked for whatever given reason don't trip about it even if it's like Things are getting hot and ready, you know what I'm saying? You 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 you're building up with a girl and stuff like that. Like, you know, you gotta have this level of like abundance, you know what I'm saying? Like not to say that everyone can get replaced, but you know, like you know, people have to have value at the end of the day. And like if people are gonna like do that, then they just didn't respect you in the first place. Especially if they do it without, you know, explaining why they did it. So, you know, at the end of the day, don't trip about it, just keep living your life, keep moving on. Um, it's just to say, you know, sometimes it's gonna just happen. Like, sometimes people just gonna block you, right? second hard pill to swallow sometimes even with physical affection it doesn't guarantee a relationship man i had to figure that i ain't gonna lie i started realizing this around like high school and stuff like that right because i used to always think back then and i know if you're like really young you probably think this too where like i thought that like you had to you know what i'm saying like if you even if you just wanted to like kiss a girl i thought like you had to like be in a relationship or whatever right or like say you are doing that right like you are like actually like kissing them and stuff like that because i found that like you know you don't need to do that to be in a relationship but sometimes say like you hit it off with somebody and like you take them out to like a movie date or to a park or you know whatever the case may be right or you know that y'all post up in your car you have a little moment making out with the person right and sometimes you thinking like oh man it, like i got this in the bag like i'm kissing her like she feeling good and all that and I'm just gonna come here and tell you like just because you do that even if she's feeling the moment like sometimes even if you take it to tier three you feel me like sometimes like that does not guarantee a relationship you know what i mean like there's certain requirements and there's certain you know it, sometimes it takes time too in order to get to that point um certain level of intimacies hits harder than other people and some people you know there's some people who just mess around and just kiss anybody you know what i mean like sometimes like that's not what it's gonna take for somebody to like fall in love and commit to a relationship so it's just like i want to let y'all know that like just because someone's like giving you like physical affection or even you know a, a deeper level of intimate con connection and stuff it doesn't it doesn't mean that you're going to be in a relationship with a person you know what i'm saying like especially nowadays bro at this point like people are basically like sharing partners and stuff maybe not simultaneously but like you know over time but you know like everybody gets like a piece of the cake at this point so you know what i'm saying it's like don't really think too deep into it and like you know just, just just know that at the end of the day you know what i'm saying especially if you're young you know like you're under 25 23 21 type stuff or around those ages like you know what i'm saying like just don't really like trip about it you know at the end of the day um it's like i said abundance mindset bro like you know if, if you can't get that girl there's gonna be another girl that's gonna want you just as much and you know a girl that's gonna really want you you know you're gonna know you're gonna know it's gonna take some time. Don't have no over expectations of nobody. Just because you're kissing someone don't mean she's gonna be your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's basically what I'm just trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to I'm trying to give y'all some game.
The third hard pill to swallow. Sometimes when it comes to your passions and dreams, everyone's not going to support it. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You could have something that you want to do that's completely different from everyone around you. You might want to be, um, let me think of an example. I'm trying to think something in the arts. You might want to be in culinary. You might want to be a cook. No, nah, no, I think that's too basic. You know, people are going to cook. But, you know, you might want to, like, really cook. You know what I'm saying? You might want to really cook. And um, I'm thinking of this example because it's somebody from my high school that actually, like, did this. And say, like, you want to cook for, like, like Walt Disney. Like, you know, like, Magic Kingdom type shit, right? And then, like, there's certain requirements you have to do. You got to, like, get better at cooking. You got to, like, buy all these meals and stuff. And it's just, like, people going to think, like, I mean, hey, everybody cook, like, bro, it's, they, they don't even get paid good and stuff. You know, people gonna try to project every type of thing. Like, you know, it could be cooking, it could be art. People gonna be like, it could be art, filmmaking. People gonna be like, yeah, people don't make money in that. You watch movies, you watch TV shows, you literally idolize characters from movies that people acted in, cartoon characters, anime characters and stuff. So you're gonna, like, I understand the, commo the, um, the economy and stuff. But you're gonna say that like, oh, you're not gonna, oh, don't do it because they don't pay no money. People don't do this because of the money. People do it because of the passion behind it, bro. The money comes after that. Money is like the bonus. I mean, obviously, yeah, you want the stability. You probably want to work in the studio and stuff. And obviously, you do need income, like, but you need value within what you're doing. And sometimes people are just not gonna understand that. You know what I mean? If nobody wants to do something, if nobody wants to do anything in the creative field right they're not gonna understand you bro and sometimes people would love to be on youtube and do a youtube video or are they gonna actually pick up the camera and record a video are they gonna do this for like a year plus without stopping for real because sometimes you know deep inside you you want to do this but you thinking about ah oh, man they're gonna they're gonna think this because i'm making a youtube video man bro i want to curse but forget how they think bro Forget how they think, bro. Because I even thought the same thing when it came to YouTube, too. I remember when I shouted out my first video. And this is, like, I had, like, 100 views on, like, my Instagram, bro. No, like, two people subscribed, bro. Out of 100 views. And more than half of the people I went to high school I know in person, bro. You feel me? And I still had to work my way up to here, bro. I didn't use no clout. I didn't pay or nothing to get to this point. Like, this is just straight up off of work. Even though, like, you know, just getting to the surface level of monetization. But... At the end of the day, yeah, like a lot of people don't even make it past 100 subscribers. So like, sometimes when you have passions and dreams, you just have to go for it, bro. People in your environment may not understand that. People in your environment might be okay working from Home Depot, um, Home Depot, Burger King. You know, you know, like like these type of factions that are like nearby and stuff, and they don't want anything past that, bro. As much as they want to talk about having high money, they're just not gonna do it. For you to know that you might be able to make their check in like a day from what you do but it could be long term bro it could take time you know what i'm saying but it's like you have to commit to the passion and sometimes people are not going to understand that people are definitely not going to understand that there's requirements there's reasons why people make into those positions too even rappers first bro i be thinking about this all the time bro these rappers that y'all idolize and stuff think about how much friends and stuff they must have had like in high school and stuff them same people ain't come up to the top with them when they became rappers you have to surround yourself around the people that are going to benefit you in that sense and sometimes it is a hard choice bro because sometimes it's going to get to that point where you could have some friends that are good for you you know what i'm saying like they, they give good advice they're good to talk to like they they ease your mood and stuff but like are they going to benefit your future and especially with the way this economy is and stuff and the way that we only have this one life to live bro it's like you can't keep being self-conscious about what other people think or what's going on. Especially at this point in my life, I'm gonna just say this, cause at this phase, bro, everybody I went to high school with, bro, people get, bro, it's really that real stage of life, bro. People getting married, having kids, moving out of state. It's like, I don't really, like, I don't think, nobody really cares about what I got going on right now. And it's true. And, and it's like people that do aren't going to the same place I'm going to, so. It's just like a real thing to just realize. And I understand because, you know, when I was in high school and stuff, I used to care like a lot about like self-image and stuff. And I understand like, 
you know having a rep and stuff like that means a lot and sometimes you can't really do a lot of things you can't do it to the full extent because of that especially if you have like a friend group where you like you smoking and stuff because you gotta like stop smoking you gotta stop hanging out you gotta stop going to the club you gotta stop drinking so you gotta have time to do things if you're gonna do something like filmmaking and art especially these are crafts that take time putting into it choreography you need to study dance moves you need to like practice like long hours and stuff it's the same even like sports you gotta do that like a long time bro like like don't let anybody question you about your dreams regardless of what they say as far as the money and stuff because there are people that are doing it you're inspired for a reason you're inspired because you've seen something that resonates with you and you feel like you can do that too or you would like to be in that field you know what i'm saying people could be like oh art doesn't make money but you watch shows like you watch cartoons you watch movies and stuff like that like the fuck out of here with that shit you know what i mean so sometimes people are just not gonna support your dreams sometimes people aren't gonna understand it they might support it but they're not gonna understand it they're definitely not gonna do what's required to help you or even be in that position as well so you have to just stay dedicated to your dreams at the end of the day because you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you have you and you know what i'm saying you don't want to feel like you didn't do your dreams because you want to make this person happy you know what i'm saying you have all the control because you could commit to your dreams for like five six years and let's say you know hopefully you know everybody you know still alive and stuff you could still have all the time to hang out with your friends after. Even though I'm not going to lie, it might be a different stage of life at that point. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do for your passions and dreams. You feel me? And sometimes you probably are meant to like live uh, like another aspect of life. Like you, you might have to move out to another state and make new friends. You might find the love of your life in another state because you pursued your dreams and shit. You know what I mean? I be thinking the same thing, even though like this is not the case anymore. But even just like DDG's journey, like, you know, him finding Ken Kennedy and then Ruby and him with like Chloe and stuff. This is all because he started YouTube, though. Think about it. Everything has like a domino effect, bro. So what you start is going to lead into like something deeper at the end of the day. So like follow your dreams, bro. I bet even when DG was doing it, people were probably telling him like, what the fuck are you doing? Or like thinking it's weird and stuff. Long term, it helped them for the better. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to stick to your path at the end of the day. I went on a tangent with this. The last hard pill to swallow is people do not care about excuses. They care about results. You can keep explaining to people why you didn't do this, that, and the third. And understand, like, it's understandable, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you don't have the resources. Sometimes you don't have the knowledge. You just don't know what to do. You don't know, like, the fundamentals of everything. It's understandable, you know what I mean? But when you explain it to people, like, your friends or the people who are, like, you know, trying to understand what you're doing and stuff, and they might, you know, they might try to project, you know, the fact that, like, bro, just... Bro, come on, work, work, work at this damn Amazon job. Like, what, what are you doing, bro? You're wasting your time, or, or you know, something like that. Oh, come, come, come on, wear security or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you never know, bro. Your stuff can probably work out for you tenfold, and you might feel comfort in what you're doing, too. You know what I'm saying? Because those type of jobs, it's like, you can still do it, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if you're trying to go for a career that requires more time, I mean, I'm just saying, bro, because, like, you got to do what's necessary for that. I understand the money is good too, but you got to think about like what you're trying to do for the long term. Them jobs are always going to be there at the end of the day too. You need to do what's required to follow your thing. And this kind of follows up to the last one too. People care about results. If you be like, I don't go to the gym for this, that, and the third. People don't care, bro. People care about results. With the YouTube, you can tell, bro, especially with YouTube. When I was starting up, bro, I'm trying to do this, that, and the third. I'm shouting it out and stuff. Um, there were times where like I, I felt like I couldn't upload as much or I wanted to give up early on. I'm talking about year one. But you know what I'm saying? As soon as I started getting more results, as soon as the views started going in, as soon as like the comments started getting, you know, there was more comments, like more than 10 comments and stuff. Like, bro, people started gravitating towards it, bro. It takes time, but people will gravitate towards it. Sometimes you're gonna do something. You're not gonna see nothing for three weeks three months you might get results but you might not even personally notice it people were like you know what i'm saying i remember i was working out and it was so funny because i don't know one of my coworkers, he i don't know he just he just knows about like the body and stuff i remember because you know it was around like 2020 or something i realized like, i lost a lot of weight you feel me i lost like yeah, an insane amount of weight so i was like really skinny and i started like doing push-ups and stuff right i started doing push-up challenges and all that and i remember i started doing incline push-ups i was like doing my like my research and stuff I was doing incline push-ups for like anywhere from like three to five weeks. Tell me how I come in. This man been like, hey, you been doing incline push-ups? I was like, how the hell you 
know that? <laughs> like, people be like, how do you specifically know I've been doing incline push ups? And he was like talking about like the chest detail and stuff. I was like, bro, like, that's weird, bro. And especially in my opinion, like, as much as I was doing that every day, I felt like I looked the same. You know what I mean? And I remember that same year, one of my other friends, he came, he pulled up, he saw me, and he was like, he was like, bro, you look kind of buff. And I was like, what? I'm like, bro, like, I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> what? I'm, I'm still skinny. Like, what you talking about, bro? So you never know, bro. And that and that's the thing too about me. Like I've I've stopped like plenty of times when it came to working out and stuff. And I noticed like I I, I get results like really fast too. Now I'm probably stuttering like a mug. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, people don't care about excuses. You get into a point, people don't care about like why you're not getting there. What's whatever you know what I'm saying. You can have the excuses. Keep the excuses to yourself. Understand the excuses and whatever you lack, do what's necessary to receive the things required to minimize the lack of effort, the lack of, you know what I'm saying? So, so there is no excuse. Do everything, get all the resources, you know what I'm saying? For working out, you know what I'm saying? Get all the food, you know what I'm saying? Get, get the weights, the scales and all that. Get the dumbbell weights if you're not going to the gym or even if you do get gym, get that gym membership. But um, in my opinion, maybe for my, body type I, I i would consider like try to do calisthenics for like a month or two before hitting the gym for real like going to you know what i'm saying because there's like you can still get yourself in shape without going to like the the actual gym but you should still go to the gym at the end of the day too and you know what i'm saying just, just do everything that's required like you know even for me for art now it's like i'm trying to get like a digital drawing pad i'm trying to get like this um this one printer because you know it scans files so you know if i'm trying to like make a book and stuff i could like scan the drawing to do it in the traditional sense i'm trying to do that too for youtube you know what i'm saying like i bought a ring light i got the cameras i got you know what i'm saying i got the different apps that works on my phone when it comes to editing just do what's whatever required a lot of times people don't care about the excuses you saying the excuses is just gonna make it sound worse for you just do what's necessary follow through and you gonna make it, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm gonna end the video off right here. It's been a long journey. But if you're new to the channel, please share to like, comment, subscribe, and see your boy Lo. Hey! No one in the cut, you do know what I'm saying? And we gone.